Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back again with another video, and this is going to be another episode of Building Camino in Lego. Before we get into the update, I got to give a shout out to those of you who were kind enough to contribute to the stream via donation. So shout out to Simply Logan, Gabriel Cabral, Trev's Reborn, Trevor04, Ethan Weedle, Carmi Lane, and Xavier Sorrent. You guys are so awesome. I say this each and every week, and I really do mean it. These, these donations do so much in helping make Camino possible. So if you are someone who would like to contribute to the build and you're not tuning into the live stream for some reason, you can always do it via PayPal. That link is in the description of the video. I can't stress enough how important those are. Now, speaking of streams, this past week, we did a little bit of Lego Star Wars trivia and it was so much fun. So what we're gonna do for this update is I'm actually going to play you a clip of the initial questions being asked and then check back later in the video. And we're gonna see who actually is able to get the trivia question correct? I was not able to figure out during the stream, but I'm very interested in seeing how many of you watching this video are gonna get it. So first we're gonna check out the clip. Okay, Squidman I, has a good question. He says, what is the only Lego Star Wars set to include a minifigure with both of their parents in the same set? Parents? That's, That's a good question. Parents Both the of their set. parents in the same set. That's a that's kind of a weird yeah, one. It's a crazy question. Uh, I feel like this is for sure a trick question, but I just don't know in what way. Oh yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. They've never made a Shmi Skywalker, have they? No, they no. have not made a Shmi Skywalker. Who, uh, and who, who's the dad? Yeah, who's the dad? Yeah, I was thinking so I was like, well I guess it would just that, be Alpacine? Well I would like it's a character oh, and both of their parents in the same Both set. meaning two. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. not Django Fett. <laughs> yeah, exactly. not Django Fett. I want you to think about it while you're watching the update and then put it in the comment section if you know the answer to it. And if you don't know the answer, we're going to reveal it later on in the video because I think it's a really awesome trivia question. Now, with all that being put aside, this episode has a really good upside and a really unfortunate downside. The downside is pretty much no work was done on the interior. The upside is we have finally fully finished off the underside of the mock. This is something I've been talking about for way too long at this point, and you'll see in the update just how much I struggle with this throughout this week, but I'm just so relieved to finally have it done, and you're going to see that through the progress of the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Building Camino. Well, to start out this episode was fixing the sagging issue that has just been nagging me for quite some time. Basically, the way the build is starting to get to it in this front section right here, which we can really notice if you look along the side, um, especially on like the walkways and even more so if you look on the inside of the frame, that front half is just getting bent because there's a lot of weight that's on it. So I figured in order to rectify this issue, I would move the support stilt from being right here. Uh, to being somewhere in here to basically help give some support to this area, which is really where a lot of the weight is coming down on. Uh, now the problem is I didn't already build a cross space for this to connect to. So it's gonna have to be something that I retroactively connect. And um, pretty much disassembling this is out of the question for many reasons. Uh, most obviously just because like, it's already like, I I'm not doing it. It would take too long to get all this apart. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is basically build like a little bracket that'll fit between this. It'll slide in there and then I'll be able to use like some Technic pins from the outside and just push them in to connect it on either side. It'll be pretty secure in there and I want to basically migrate this guy to where that new bracket is. The bracket design I came up with was pretty simple, just using some of those Technic L bricks. The other issue I ran into is that the space that the bracket had to slide into was basically two studs too wide. Now you might say, why not just extend the bracket, make that a little bit longer, but for reasons that I honestly don't want to get into here, the bracket pretty much had to be the size that it is. Uh, so you're just gonna have to trust me on that. So what I ended up doing instead was just building these little extender sections, which would add a stud to either side, and that would allow the bracket to fit in perfectly. I really wanted to get a cool shot of me attaching these two side extender sections as well as the bracket to the build, but I was struggling pretty hard, so I just ended up doing it off camera. But once I was able to finally get it connected, everything worked out quite well and the bracket fit in perfectly. And the last part of moving the support column was bringing back the trusty old pick brick cups in order to support the mock while I had to move that front stilt. Now moving this still solved a little bit of the issues when it came to sagging, but it still resulted in some sagging in other places. So the ultimate remedy that I came up with was just building an entirely new stilt and then having two of them on the front instead of one. And that seemed to solve most of the issues I was having. 
I definitely did not originally plan to be building this many stilts under this build, which meant that scavenging for parts was a little bit of a hectic process, but it all came along and I got it wired up and this stilt looked as good as all the other ones. Now that we have the frame and stilt situation taken care of, we could finally work on finishing up the underside of the build. And I mean it this time. I initially started off by making this huge panel that was going to find the correct shape of and then tile it off. But once I was testing attaching that giant panel, it was just a total nightmare. Like I realized trying to maneuver this giant panel around this toes at the bottom was just not going to work. I realized that instead I was going to have to build a bunch of smaller sections. But before I got into that, I did think about what I wanted to actually have built underneath this. Now, at this point, I was so ready to just tile off the entire bottom of this mock and be done with it. But I did want to go a little bit above and beyond that and have some actual accurate details. All right, so this is what I came up with in regards to a little fixture to add on to the bottom of the Camino Dome. I'm basically trying to replicate what you see right here in this screenshot. So if you'll notice, this thing will be mounted upside down whenever it gets attached. Uh, so the design here is really similar to what I did on my clone base over here. Um, that thing seems to be you know, helping me on more ways than one, whether it comes to parts or just design cues and figuring out ways how to do stuff. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, the panels aren't like as straight as I'd like. I'm definitely gonna have to do some work and line these up a little bit more neatly, but the general shape is definitely there. Um, kind of wanted a dome type shape right here on the top and then these slanted areas um, to be rounded. And uh, it worked out pretty well. So um, I got all the pieces here to finish it out. Gonna basically finish out this whole other side and then we'll be ready to attach it to the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna be super excited to finally do that. I went and laid all the pieces that I needed to finish up this upside down dome that was gonna be mounted to the underside of Camino. And once that was finished up, I was able to use it as a point of reference to figure out where all the tiles needed to go on my multiple underside sections. And now is the reward for all of you who have stuck to this video up until this point. The answer to the trivia question of which Lego Star Wars set has a character as well as both of their parents in the same set. The answer is the 20th anniversary Pod Racer set. It comes with a young Anakin Skywalker. It comes with Padme. And then as the exclusive 20th anniversary figure also comes with Luke Skywalker. Kudos to any of you who was able to guess that correctly. And like that, we got the bottom of the mock tiled up. You can see there's this big hole in the middle. This is just going to be where that big dome that I created is going to sit right on there. Also, added in these two smaller domes right there. I think that looks kind of cool and also pretty accurate. And I was honestly considering just tiling off this whole thing, but I did say why not add a little bit of greebling. This will be under the mock. No one's ever going to see it, but... I'll know it's there and I'll know I took an extra like 10 minutes to add in those little bits. So now the final part of this episode, we're going to get this mounting up on the bottom of the mock and I can finally get rid of this, the headache that has been finishing the underside of this Camino dome. And here it is. Finally, the bottom of this mock is finished off. It's toweled. It looks clean, nice and smooth. Got a little bit of greebling, got this big center assembly, got those little smaller hanging domes towards the back. I am so happy that this is finally done with. I don't know if it's gonna be like apparent through the progress in the video, just how much of a headache this was, but I assure you guys, this was no easy task. So this is what it's looking like. Got everything mounted up, um, got the trim reattached, um, had to rebuild these sections around these pillars to get those newly placed pillars to fit 
and it works out pretty well and i am just so excited to finally see the underside of this thing looking good uh especially you know on multiple levels because before we didn't have both of those roof sections finished so to see you know smooth under there smooth under there and then finally below everything it's looking smooth tiled off and finished makes me so happy and also just having you know all the lights um finally connected makes a big difference as well um as i'm sure you can tell but ah uh, this is just so awesome guys i am so happy to finally be done with this i would i would going to have said that like a million times by the time you guys finish this video but i mean it it is huh, such a monkey off of my back to have this done uh, i'm pretty happy with how that that center section came out um, I, it is still, you know, not as like seamless as I would like. Kind of, some of the panels are kind of popping up, which just kind of happened when I attached it. And because it's hanging upside down, it's maybe not as rigid as I thought it was. I will say like the bottom half, like this section is doing fantastic. I love it. But some of these in here could probably do some reworking, which um, I'm not going to touch it at all right now. Right now I am done touching this thing, but maybe sometime later on I'll go through and I'll come up with a more more robust des design something that keeps them all in place and organized a little bit better but until then i think this is fine like i said this is under the build you literally will not notice this thing unless you come down here where i am i'm literally sitting on the floor recording this so uh, for those of you who appreciate you know the, the extra mile when it comes to detail and going above and beyond and, and doing things on the underside of mox this is going to be the episode for you and um, next week, we'll dive into the more exciting parts of this build, i.e. the interior. So, so happy to finally be at this point. I, I am not, I'm never going to put myself in this position again. Working on the underside of this thing was no fun whatsoever. Um, and, and now I know, you know, if I plan on detailing the underside of a build, do that first, or at least design it in such a way where you can e even flip it over and work on it. But like trying to attach panels upside down, uh, a structure that's just this massive uh, was such a task, but we powered through it and we're coming out better on the opposite side because of it. So hopefully this uh, pulled back view gives you a good idea of just what Camino is looking like right now. Uh, here's a view of the top in case you forgot. And uh, we can go ahead and move to the end of the video. And that's going to finish up the video this week, guys. Please let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about the build so far. It is such a relief to finally have the underside of the mock done. I can't tell you how stressful it's been working on this. Like, this has been, like, unparalleled levels of stress. Just trying to not even so much design stuff for it, but actually just build it. Like, getting my hands underneath the build to work on it was just so annoying. Trying to get all these big modules to work together but now that it's finally done i'm so happy that it's over with i am going to have to do this again for the second dome that we include in this build but now that i know how this works out i'm not going to save the bottom of that build until the very end that's probably going to be one of the first things i do just to not build myself into a corner so to speak so now moving forward i'm sure you'll all be happy to know that we can finally let the bottom of the mock just kind of rest we can stop working on that and we can finally focus all of our attention on the interior of the build i have been working on designing a few things for it so it's not going to take a while for me to get things going with there like i already um, have been working on things even on the live stream for the interior so the next update i promise you guys you're going to see quite a bit of work done on the interior i'm so ready to just just finally get to work on the inside of this thing so you're definitely going to want to tune in for future episodes so that's going to finish things up today i hope you enjoyed watching the video as always if you like what i do support the video by hitting the like button support the channel by smashing that subscribe button and i'll be back again very soon